Chapter 7, the seventh and final installment in the series. Welcome! In this chapter, we are going to finish our scene and make renderings and screenshots so you can present to your clients the money shot they are willing to pay from 500 to 1000 euros for it. Let's do it! Before starting, we need to select a render engine in the render properties window and change some simple settings. Go to the render properties window, render engine and choose cycles. In the same section, directly below, go to sampling, viewport, max samples and change it to 50. Still in the sampling section, in the next tab below, go to render max samples and change it to 250 and activate the noise. Finally, in the tab performance, go to memory and uncheck use styling. Great, moving on! We need to familiarize ourselves with the styles on the viewport shading, represented by the four spheres in the top right side corner of your main screen. We are going to select each one with left side click and see what is the type of visualization we can get. From the left to right, we are going to start with the first one. The wireframe. The wireframe presents to us an outline view of the objects in the scene. The solid view. The solid view shows a simple shading representation of the objects. Material preview. The material preview is a real-time representation of the materials presented in our scene. Can take a little bit of time to load all the materials, so be a little patient. The render preview. The render preview represents an approximation of the final results of our future render. This option can be very taxing on your system, so use it with discretion. I suggest that you use the solid and material preview during this finishing processes of our project, depending on the performance of your computer. Now, we are going to bring to the project the pre-made materials that we prepared for you. In the top left side, in the main bar, go to the file, append, and select the file magic plan underline shaders dot plant that you can find in the project assets folder. Hit append and select the material folder. Select the first material and holding shift, scroll to the bottom of the list and click in the last one to select all the materials at once and hit append again. Now you have populated your scene with all necessary materials. Let's learn how to apply them. Go to 3D view and left side click in the glass pane, present in one of the windows. With the pane of glass selected, go to the editor window right below the outliner as seen on my screen and access the material properties panel. You will notice that the glass pane now has a basic white material. On the selector, right below the sphere that represents the material, click the drop down and choose the material named MP underline glass underline archives. You will notice that while in the material preview mode, the glass will look like a mirror. But don't worry, in the final render, the material will behave like a pane of glass. The same process of applying the material to the pane of glass on the window will be repeated throughout our scene walls, flooring, window, window frames and window panes. So, let's do it together. 
you will find that we prepared one material for each element on the floor plan. Now that we have all the materials applied, it's time to prepare our final render of the scene. Go to the camera icon, left mouse click to go into the camera view. Next, in the properties panel, go to Output Properties tab, Output, hit the folder icon and choose the folder where your project is. Finally, go to the main bar on the top left side of your 3D panel and choose Render, Render Image. Your computer you will start to render the image and a pop-up window will show up. In this window you will see our final image that will start very grainy and progressively will get more clear and defined. In the top part of the window you will see indicated the time remaining for the final image to be concluded. Now that your image is ready, go to the top bar in Image, Save As, choose the format .png, RGBA, 16, with zero compression, and save it on your project folder. Congratulations, you have your final image done. The rendering process can be taxing in some computers, and the render time can vary but you could pre-approve the status of your project with your client making screenshots while in the material preview mode, as you see in my screen now. Doing that, you save time and connect with your client, optimizing any possible change before rendering. It was a great pleasure to share this workflow with you. To help with your practice, we prepared a bonus chapter so we can change the kitchen configuration, introduce new cameras and explore new possibilities. The chapter 8 will follow a free form structure, so get ready to move things around. We hope you liked the video. Comment if you have any questions or video requests. We love to hear your opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I see you guys next time. Bye bye.